Hi folks, many people have asked me for my opinion on FIT versus Cologuard versus colonoscopy for colorectal cancer screening. This is a great topic, important ramifications, so let's get to it. But before I do, let me say the following. Colorectal cancer screening isn't a dichotomy of colonoscopy versus not doing anything. This would be a misconception. Indeed, while colonoscopy is regarded as the gold standard for colorectal cancer screening, if nothing else because it's the only technique to examine the entire colon and remove polyps if present, it's not the only option. Which brings us back to the question of FIT versus Cologuard versus colonoscopy. FIT stands for Fecal Immunochemical Test. It uses antibodies to detect globin, which is the protein component of hemoglobin which is integral to blood. So if globin is detected in your stool, it means that there could be a colon polyp present among other possibilities. Fortunately, most people who have a positive fit don't actually have colon cancer, but a positive fit does mean that a colonoscopy is indicated to further investigate things. Of note, fit isn't very sensitive, and as such, it needs to be repeated every year, unless of course one year the result is positive, in which case a colonoscopy would be needed. Though fit is commonly used in some healthcare systems and by some doctors, I seldom ever use it my practice. Cologuard is a newer method and it combines the elements of fit with looking for genetic markers that could indicate the presence of a colorectal polyp or cancer. Because of this combination approach, it's more sensitive than fit and therefore only needs to be repeated every three years. Of course, if the result is ever positive, a colonoscopy would be indicated. Cologuard is currently my preferred screening method for essentially anyone who doesn't choose colonoscopy and isn't at increased risk of having colorectal cancer. And lastly, colonoscopy. I've done some reels about this in the past. Feel free to check them out. In the interest of time, I won't go into the details here, but feel free to ask questions in the comments. What I will say here and to summarize is that some screening methods are better suited for certain individuals and it's important to pick a method and get it done and get it done at the age of 45 not 50 unless you have specific risk factors that put you at high risk in which case you may need to start screening at age 40 or even younger and with colonoscopy rather than any other method that's it for the moment follow for more health related content and feel free to sign up for my free email newsletter at drversus.com cheers